Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna to be doing this really cool like black and white glitter stripe tumbler design. And I had created this cup for my son's second grade teacher. She's worked so hard this year with the pandemic and the kids having like remote learning and then the hybrid learning, just all of it. It's been very stressful for her this year. And so this video and this tumbler is for her. And this is also also kind of a tribute to all the teachers this year that have worked so hard. You are so appreciated. We value you so much. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to have all the products that you see listed and linked down below in the description box. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. So as usual, we're starting with a fully prepped and sanded cup, and I'm just going to spray paint it black using this Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint. You'll want to give it a couple coats. Make sure you have nice, even coverage because this black paint will be part of the design here. So we want to make sure this looks really nice and even. I've got about 20 milliliters of epoxy mixed here, and I'm going to add a very small amount of this Super NES fine silver holographic glitter from peachy olive glitters you definitely could use any kind of like holographic glitter here but you definitely want to make sure that it is super super fine cut so very little glitter very tiny cuts because we just want to add a subtle sparkle to this black to make it look like we did full coverage glitter but not really so i'm going to spread that all over my cup just like we would normally epoxy a cup and I'm using Alumalite's Amazing Quick Coat Fast Setting Epoxy, so I'll be ready to move on to my next step in about four hours. So four hours has gone by and my cup is dry enough and I am going to tape off the lines for what will be our white stripes. I'm using one inch blue painters tape and I'm gonna start at the very top rim of my cup and I'm gonna try and tape these lines as straight as possible, <laughs> all right? And we're just going to repeat those tape lines all the way down the cup, and we wanna try and get them side by side together as neatly as possible. that when we get to the end here this one inch painters tape really is ideal for this shape of tumbler this is a 30 ounce traditional from craft haven and the lines all came out perfectly even and spaced on this one so that was exciting <laughs> Um, and so for this white stripe, I am going to start with a second line down. I don't want my white stripe to be at the very top because I will inevitably have to sand up there at the top rim and I don't want to risk sanding through my white glitter and paint and possibly exposing the black underneath where I don't want it to be. So I'm going to start that white at the second stripe down and expose each other every other line after that like you see here okay and then we're just going to spray paint right over this you want to do a good solid two coats of spray paint and then i mixed five milliliters of epoxy again using amazing uh quick coat from Illumilite, that great fast setting epoxy all right and this is going to be the adhesive for our glitter so just like we would do epoxy method for any other cup i'm going to apply it in the same way but I am going to try and avoid those taped lines. So I'm going to try and rub the epoxy in between each tape line. Don't worry if you get it perfect. It's totally fine. I'm going to let it rip with some Nookie glitter from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is a beautiful white glitter. Of course, you could use any white glitter that you have. I'm going to tap off the excess after I'm sure that I've got great coverage everywhere. And then we're going to go ahead and remove those tape lines while our epoxy is still wet. You do not need to wait. You could just jump right in there and be very careful <laughs> removing those tape lines. Okay. 
Once we've got all of our tape removed, so satisfying, I'm going to let this sit on my rack to dry for about two to three hours. Remember that we are using fast setting epoxy, so your dry times may vary from mine. Once this is all dry, I'm going to go in with a uh, Q-tip and some acetone and just clean up any boo-boos or like paint that might have leaked through some of my painter's tape. Especially here around the curve, I got some like rippling in my tape where some white paint sort of leaked through. So I'm just going to clean that up really quick. And then we're going to tap off all that excess glitter really well with some scissors. And then I'm going to apply a generous coat of this Rust-Oleum 2 times clear gloss spray paint just so we can really lock in that glitter. Now the reason why I did the white glitter after the black is because I figured if any of this white glitter shifts around, it's not going to be as big of a deal as if black glitter shifted around into the white. It won't be as noticeable. So if you're doing this with different colors, I would suggest doing your darker, you know, your darkest color first on the bottom with that same color kind of quick glitter method with it mixed into the epoxy and then tape off your lightest color second just like we did here okay I am applying my first layer of epoxy here this is just 30 milliliters of epoxy I'm going to let this dry for four to six hours and then I am going to come back and do my second coat right over this second coat dry for eight to 12 hours and now we're ready to do our sanding I'm going to do my regular sanding up around that top rim like I normally would. I've got a 60 grit sanding block here and we just want to expose that thin line of stainless steel up at the top so that we have something for our final layers of epoxy to adhere to to create our final seal on the outer rim rather than the upper rim where it's more vulnerable. I'm also going to do any sort of light sanding around the sides that I might need to do to make sure that my decal lines, which we'll apply next, will all lay flat with no bumps. All right, and then once we're done with our sanding, I'm just going to take this in to rinse it off with some dish soap and water, dry it off with some paper towels, and now we're ready to apply our vinyl lines. I've already cut my vinyl lines in Cricut Design Space using the shapes feature, and I've cut 12 lines at 11.5 inches wide by 0 0.10 inches tall. And I just absolutely love these gold lines as like a detail in this design. I think it cleans up the in-between, the black and the white so nicely. And it's really easy to lay these down. Just follow the natural line of the design. Take your time. And if you're using a 30 ounce traditional cup like I am, you're going to find that these lines fall a little short. That's not a big deal. Just grab another length of vinyl and put it in between that little gap there, slicing it in with your craft knife. I used this like new textured gold vinyl that I thought was super pretty and easy to work with for a design like this because it was really forgiving in these areas where I had to splice in that little, you know, gapped section. Um, I'll have a link down below where you can find the same gold vinyl. It is so beautiful. repeat that process all the way down the length of our cup and I am going to seal my vinyl today. I'm going to use the same stuff I always use to seal my vinyl. It's this counterculture uh, water-based urethane sealer. It is definitely not epoxy. This is just a water-based urethane sealer that I'm going to apply to our cup really quickly to ensure that I don't have any lifting with my vinyl lines. I also like using this product anytime I've had a lot of like goings on on the surface of a cup where there could be a lot of surface contaminants that it can cause drama with my next coat of epoxy. Um, it's really easy and quick to put on. It'll dry in about a half hour. And now we're ready to move on into our next layer of epoxy. All right, and so for this next layer, I'm just using 20 milliliters of that fast setting epoxy. And the reason why I'm gonna put epoxy over these vinyl lines before I put on more decals is so that I don't have any creases in the sunflower decals and the name decal and all of that because if you just apply more decals over those vinyl lines you're gonna see you know seams and creases and stuff like that so just a quick layer of epoxy here and then we'll move on to our final decals 
So while that layer is drying, I'm going to show you guys how I created the name decal for this design using the Over app on my phone. So you're just going to go into the app, click the plus sign at the bottom of your screen, then click the transparent option, and then click OK or the little check mark. Then we are going to add text by clicking that A, and I'm going to type in the name. Um, this is Mrs. Fox <laughs> that we're doing today. And I love the Over app because you can scroll through all the different fonts to see what things are going to look like in real time. I'm using Vogue, Voguer, Vogue, Vogue R, whatever um, that font name is for this one. I thought it was just a super cool looking classic font and I'm going to use the style option to decrease the space between Mrs. and Fox just to make it look a little more put together. I'm going to increase the size to where it almost like fits all corners of our box here and once I am done I'm going to click the top right hand box of our screen there to save it. So you'll see a little box with an arrow up there at the top. We're just going to click on that and then click save. And then I'm going to upload this to Cricut Design Space like I normally would. You'll notice that as soon as you get it into Cricut Design Space, you don't have to clean anything up. It just goes directly in there like any kind of SVG or PNG would. Once we've got that uploaded, I'm going to move on into designing the remainder of the cup. For the sunflower image, I will have that linked down below in the description box. It's just like a generic random sunflower that I had found a long time ago. I wanted to do a simple sunflower shape because I'm going to actually be using it as a pattern. And we're going to use the print and cut feature on our Cricut today. I've done a more in-depth video on how to use um, printable vinyl and print and cut for your tumblers. I will link that original tutorial down below in the description box. I think you guys will really find that helpful. I'm going to duplicate our sunflower so that I end up printing about 12 of these sunflowers. Uh, I sized them to be exactly two inches. Um, and you probably won't use all 12, but I like to have more than I need in case I mess any up. I'm also going to use the shapes feature in Cricut Design Space to create my polka dots. I sh sized my polka dots at a half inch each and then I duplicated them to create about 12 again. I probably won't need all 12, but <laughs> just in case. I'm also going to show you guys how I created the vinyl lines, which is pretty straightforward. You just select a square from the shapes feature and then resize that square. For this design, I resized the square to be 11.5 inches wide by 0 0.10 inches tall. And then I duplicated it to create about 12 lines. I didn't use all of them, but again, it's always better to have a little extra just in case. For the name decal, I'm going to add the little name that we just created and uploaded from the over app onto our canvas here. And then I'm also going to look up Geometric Shapes 7, which is from Cricut Design Space. It's like a 99 cent file, or I think it's free if you have Cricut Access membership. And I'm going to use that as the frame for our name decal. Obviously, you could use like whatever you want, <laughs> but I just thought these were super cute. So I'm going to resize these appropriately. And then I did rotate that geometric shape frame to go horizontally and then I resized it to kind of fit how I wanted it on my cup and I measured I think it was about 3.3 inches wide by about 2.7 inches tall and then I'm going to select that geometric shapes frame again and I'm going to use the new offset feature in Cricut Design Space to create just a slight offset around that frame just a little bit, very subtle offset. And then I'm going to contour the inside of that offset so that I'll create like a whole shape that will go behind that frame. So with that offset selected, we're just going to, I want to change the color to white just so I can get an idea of how it'll look. I'm going to use the contour feature to contour the inside of that shape so that all I'm left with is a full outline 
um, that's totally filled in on the inside, if that makes sense. You'll see how it comes together in the end. And then I just want to layer everything together before I cut it to make sure everything looks nice. And then I'm going to resize that name decal to make sure that it makes sense inside of our frame. It ended up being smaller than I had anticipated. <laughs> um, and then once everything looks right and we're ready to roll, I'm just going to get this all printed and cut and then we'll be putting it on our cup. Here's all our beautiful sunflowers that we printed and cut and all the other decals here. I'm just going to get everything weeded really quickly. For this name decal, I am going to show you guys how I layered this. You'll see that I had that top layer is just the geometric shape frame in gold. Here in the white is that shape that we did the offset and the contouring with. And then, of course, the name decal is going to go on top. So I'm going to use my transfer tape and I'm going to start with the name. And then I'm going to transfer that onto the gold frame because that's going to be our second layer. Get it all lined up and then we will layer that over that white shape that we created to be our background. All right, and then I'm just gonna transfer this name decal onto my cup like I normally would. Always measure twice, cut once. <laughs> um, and then once that's on there, I'm gonna place the remainder of my decals on by hand. So I'm gonna start by placing the sunflowers on my cup just like I would peel and stick a sticker. Okay, um, you don't want to use transfer tape on that printable vinyl because uh, it's really easy to mess it up. And I would try to avoid any creases on your cup with your placement of these because it's really hard to smooth it out and avoid wrinkles without kind of scratching up some of the ink on your vinyl. That's at least been my experience. <laughs> so I just avoid any kind of curves in the cup and really try to take my time smoothing it out so I don't get any kind of air bubbles and things like that. And I don't have a lot of rhyme or reason for where I'm placing my sunflowers. I just really tried to get a nice, evenly balanced, random pattern. After I got all my sunflowers placed, I just randomly placed these teal dots in line with some of those gold lines and just, you know, kind of alternated which side of the line I placed these on to kind of add a little bit more detail. So here's what we ended up with. I love it. And we're just going to epoxy right over this. You do not need to seal printable vinyl. I get asked this every single time I use printable vinyl in a tutorial and you do not need to seal it. You could just apply epoxy right over it. So here we are applying our final coat of epoxy. I did have to do another final coat over this to get it completely smooth, but that was it. We were done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a new video. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.